So how to change the date value in Spanish in Chart.js? As you can see here, we're using the Spanish language here, but of course we can do any other language as well. So let's start to figure out how to do this. So let's start to look at the date language and turn it into Spanish. So the first thing what we're going to do is we need to get a border template, which you can find here on Chart.js. 3.com getting started, this specific link, you can find it as well in the description box. So once you're on here, get the border template. Copy all of this. And we're going to just paste that in there. I'll just cut this out and put that in here. Save, refresh, there we are. What I will do is maximize the size of the chart. Make this 80%, save, refresh, beautiful. All right, let's start to convert the dates into, or sorry, the uh, X scale into a date item. So I'm going to remove everything here, except for the first two. And I'm just going to put in here 2022. Um, well, let's say here, this will be October the 1st, and this one is 2022, and this is November the 1st. All right, save, refresh. There we are. Right now, this is not yet a date. It's just a string value. So what I want to do now is convert this into a date. To do that, what we're going to do is we go to chartjs.org. Go to ecosystem here and once you're on ecosystem, scroll down and click on the adapters because we need the date adapter here. You can choose any of those or sorry, get one of the above two. This one has been deprecated, so don't use this. Use one or the other. I will use date FNS because it requires only a single file that I want to load and that's fine. So I'm going to grab this file here, which is the chart.js adapter date FNS bundle uh, minimized JavaScript file. So once you grab that, Paste it in there, but make sure that the chart.js library loads first and afterwards the bundle adapter. So once I did that, nothing happened yet. Let's activate this here. So I'm going to scroll down here and we're going to pinpoint. Remember, this is the X scale here. So we're going to pinpoint in the scales the X scale, which makes sense. And then in here, what I want to do is I want to convert this. Uh, well, first of all, I need to say the type and the type will be the time scale. Once we have the time scale uh, here, then I can use it as an object and I can say here the following, I will say a unit will be equal to month. I guess that would be very useful. Make sure it's a string value. Save this, refresh. There we are. So now we have these months here, but there's a problem here. This is still in English. So how do we convert it into a Spanish language? Well, to do this, what we want to do here is in the type, we want to pinpoint the ticks. So it's a comma, we're going to say it ticks. Once we are on the ticks, we want to say here, because these are basically the tick labels, we're going to say here um, a callback, because I want to create a new callback for that. And I need to tell chart.js that we're going to change the date structure. So the callback is this command here, and then I'm going to say here three specific uh, parameters, the value, the index, and the ticks. They say here function error expression, curly braces. And then within here, what I want to do is first of all show you the value. If I save this, refresh, open up developer tab, and you can see here it loads these items. So this is all fine and works nicely. So what I want to do with these dates here, I want them or those dates being converted into a uh, date object because right now this date here is a string value that has been basically this here has been converted into a string value but then what i want to do is i want to convert it back into a date object so to do this what i want to do here is well we have this value here but then what i will say here constant date equals new date value and if I save this right now, refresh, all right, nothing happens. And you might notice that we don't have anything here. The ticks are not showing because we don't return a value. So if I do here return and I say value, let's see what happens. Then we get the ones we're expecting. But if I change it and I'll say now the date, which is a new date object, save, refresh, we get all this information, which is a date, well, basically a date object. As you can see here, structuring all the information. So now, because we have all this information, we can now start to modify them. So what I'm going to do here is, I want to change the return, and I'm going to say here, return, and we're going to say a new, and then we say international, basically international date, but we use four characters here, I-N-T-L, with capital I for India, 
and then we're going to say date time format and once we did this we're going to specify here the date and time in this case we want to have Spain so Espanol or Espana one I guess one of those things I'm sorry I'm not not a uh, Spanish person so I don't know exactly how to pronounce it but this is basically the uh, code and then in here we're going to have an object because what we want to return here is the date in a certain format so what we can do here is for example for now let's do this one date style and this is a full value and then we also want the time style and we also put that as a long value so we get the date and the time basically like this converted into the Spanish language so once I did that I'm going to say a date format and we're going to say here we turn our date which is this one here and basically this here will return the entire item let's remove this comment here save that refresh all right so now we get a lot of information here but this is very important I can imagine so well, hold on I don't want all of this I want them only specific items so let's start to look at it but you can see here we get Sabado so then probably Saturday uh, October etc etc so how do we control this more so let's change that and let's say a little bit different let's say weekday we want to have the weekday we can put as long comma and then we want to have maybe the year as well we can say the year should be a numeric value so it will be four digits and the month do you want it long or short so let's put it as short so we have in, in, uh, we have a short uh, date um, written in three characters and then finally we have the day and the day can be a numeric value as well so if I save this right now, refresh, you can see here what we get is the day, the number of the day, and October, and the year itself. So we could remove maybe this, maybe we don't want this weekday. There we are. Now you only get November and October, the first. And if we can even remove this one here, then we just only get the year and the month. There we are. And that's basically how you can play around with it. Of course, there's still something else because maybe you have these numbers here. And if you're working with, for example, European numbers, this here will change as well. So let's go up and I'm going to show you. This is very important. So let's put in here 18 million. And then uh, like that, say refresh. So what you have here, you can see here, there's a comma set in here. This is the American style. But if you are maybe in Spanish, then this will probably not be very good because the dot and the comma should be in the opposite position basically because the European standard is slightly different than the American standard. So what we're going to do is let's change these numbers as well. So what we're going to do here in the options we're going to say local and then we can indicate here the Spanish drawing or time structure. So if I refresh pay attention to the commas they are now converted into a dot absolutely phenomenal so we have the time structure show for sorry the value structure shown into the european standard or the spanish standard and of course we have here the month in short or long let's put that in long you should see here now the spanish writing here and of course we could change this maybe we want to have france and we have here the france style and we get different writing as well there you are this is basically the way how you can control the language on a date. So if you enjoyed this video and maybe you don't have a standard date format like this, you have a different date format, in that case I'm going to recommend you this video to explore how you can use different date formats and then convert them into something readable that JavaScript can parse into a perfect structure to draw the chart. So in that case how to use different date formats in Chart.js video is very useful for you.